In this video, I'm going to show you the different tools that you need to download onto your computer to create simple mobile apps using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, I'm not going to show you how to create an app in this video. That will come in future videos. But just for this one, I'm going to show you the tools that you need to get set up. So the first piece of software you need is a free text editor, and it's called Adobe Brackets. Okay, so if you go to brackets.io, you'll end up on this page where you can click the blue button to download brackets. It is free. It's only a small program. It's a bit like the old notepad you would have seen on Windows computers. When you open it up, it looks a bit like this. I've got an example HTML file open here. This is some code that I'm using to write a mobile app at the moment. And you can see that brackets, it color codes it for you. So you've got your comments in gray there, and you can see you've got your tags in blue. And other different pieces of code will have different colors. Okay, it's fairly simple to follow. If you don't like the light theme they've got going on, you can go up to your view menu and change the theme to a dark theme. And that looks pretty cool as well. So it's up to you which theme you use, but by default I think it's set to light. Okay. In brackets you can see you've got a panel down the left hand side here which looks after all the files within your mobile app. So I've got my CSS folder here. It looks after the look of my mobile app. And you can see all the colors and the layout and the fonts I'm using in my CSS file. One cool thing with brackets is, for example, with colors, you can easily edit them in brackets. If you hover over the top of these color codes, you get a quick preview of what that color is going to look like. If you right click on that color code and go to quick edit, it brings up a color box and you can easily just move this around and pick a new color, close it off and bang, your code's updated. Okay, so it's very handy. Um, if I close my CSS off, you can see down here I've got my JavaScript folder as well, and I can click on any of these to get into my JavaScript. Okay, so that's pretty simple. If I go back to my index.html, this is my main file where all the action takes place where I write my mobile app. This simple piece of code here, I'm using to make a Wheel of Fortune type app. If I go up to this lightning bolt in the top right corner of brackets, it goes into live preview mode. And it loads up my web browser, and I can see, I'll have a quick sneak peek of what my app's going to look like. For some instances, you can actually click on things in this web browser, and it will work. But the app I'm making, you need to actually tap it with your finger to make it spin. So I just can't click on that with my mouse. But what I am going to download in a moment is some other programs that will actually send my app from brackets, and it will take it over to my mobile app. And from there, I can test it just by clicking on the screen with my finger to see if my app is actually working. Okay, so we'll have a look at that now, what other apps we need to download onto our computer. So back in the internet, we've got brackets. That's our first one. The second thing we want is the PhoneGap desktop app. Okay, so you need to either go to this website at the top or simply go to Google and just type in PhoneGap desktop app and you'll be able to download the latest version of the desktop app. Basically, the PhoneGap desktop app looks like this. Okay, I'll just move it to the side here. I'm just going to close this for a minute. When you load it up, you've got it here. Drop PhoneGap project folders here. Okay, so any mobile apps that you're creating, you just drag and drop them into the PhoneGap app here. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. You can create a new one when you're first starting out, or if you're already working on a project like I am, I'm just going to add an existing app. And here it is here. This is this Wheel of Fortune app I was just talking about. Once you select the folder, it will pop up here in PhoneGap. Okay. And in a moment, I'm going to actually send that folder across to my mobile device. But before I do that, I need to get my mobile device set up. So if you've got an Android phone, after you've downloaded this app through the Windows or Mac, that'll install it on your computer. You then need to go and install it on your phone or your tablet. Okay, So we can have the two apps talking to one another between the computer and the mobile device. So if you're on Android devices, you can go and download the PhoneGap Developer app from the Play Store. Okay, just search PhoneGap Developer and you'll see it pop up. It's another free app. Or if you're on the iOS system, so using Apple devices, search for the same thing, PhoneGap Developer, and you'll see this icon here. Again, it's free to download. So once you've got that downloaded, your computer and your mobile device can now talk to one another. You've got PhoneGap on your computer and you've got PhoneGap on your phone. So what I can do now 
in the desktop app is push that out to my phone. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure that this server number so 192.168.0.8 colon 3000 that number needs to be exactly the same as the number that appears on your phone. I'm just going to turn my phone on now and I'll put my webcam up and hopefully you can see my phone here. It's a little bit bright this screen but down in the bottom corner here I've got the PhoneGap app and when I click on it it pops up and I know that's blurry and it's a bit hard to see but that number there that's the same number that appears down here in the green okay if those numbers do not match well your phone and your desktop app will not talk to one another and you won't be able to test your app so what I'm going to do now is click connect on this mobile app and it's going to download my files from the computer it's extracting them now and in a moment you'll see a preview of what my app looks like on my phone. It should be a Wheel of Fortune app that we just saw a moment ago. There it is. When I tap my screen now, you can see the wheel spinning, just like in Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I know that's poor quality, my webcam's not focusing properly, but you get the idea. You can see this PhoneGap app is talking to my mobile device, and I can now test my app. Okay, it's as simple as that. I'll just close my window off there for the moment. So two things to download there, the PhoneGap desktop app for your computer and also the PhoneGap app for your Android or iOS device. Okay, make sure they're installed on both. From there, one last thing to download is jQuery Mobile. So go to the jQueryMobile.com forward slash download website and you'll see you've got a zip file here with jQuery Mobile and you'll see the latest version that you can download. And the jQuery is basically used to build our user interface. Okay, it works nicely with brackets. Okay, so you'll need to download that. There it is just there. I simply click on it and that should start downloading. And there it goes on mine. Make this a little bit smaller. We might have a look at this once it's opened. Okay, so that's just opening now. We've extracted it and in jQuery mobile here We've got some different pieces of code It's got some demos. It's got some images and it's got these bits and pieces Okay, so all these little bits and pieces here need to be inside the folder Where you're making your mobile app that way the HTML CSS and jQuery can all talk to one another and work well together to make your app Okay, so that's all the things that you need to download to make your mobile app. Okay, one last website I want to show you is called jQuery Mobile. And instead of writing the code yourself for mobile apps, come to this website and it will write a lot of the code for you. I'll give you an example. If you would like to put some buttons into your app, like this, so you hover over them and they can change color, and you can click on them. All you need to do is view the source, and there's the piece of code that you will copy into your HTML file. Easy as that. You can scroll down, look at all the different types of buttons you can get. You can get different colors, like the black ones with the white text. You can get mini buttons, you can get ones with icons on the end there. Okay, small buttons like that as well. That's just some of the things, but if you look down the side here, you can get forms. Let's have a look at what forms are. You can also get sliders and things like that. All you need to do is view the source. There's the code. Simply copy and paste it into your HTML and you can have a slider in your mobile app. Uh, we can have a look at panels. Okay, panels are things that pop out from the left hand side. So if I want an overlay panel, it could look like that. A reveal where it just reveals itself. Or a push out where it pushes the screen across. Okay. All this sort of code you can find on the jQuery mobile website. So remember, demos.jQueryMobile.com okay, and you'll start to have a play around with the different types of features you can include in your mobile app. Okay, So they are the basic things that we need to make a mobile app. They're the different tools that we're going to need. In future videos, as I said, I'm going to show you how to use those all together to make some very simple apps. But for now, get those sorted. Adobe Brackets first, 
and get the PhoneGap desktop app that goes onto your computer. So your computer and mobile device can talk, you need to also download the PhoneGap mobile app, either from iOS from the App Store or on Google, you can download it from the Play Store, it's on Android devices. And finally also download jQuery Mobile. Okay, I hope I've got all that right. Four different things there you want to have a look at. Okay, um, in the next video I will show you how to create your first mobile app.